three phase Fourier converter. The bridge circuit are shown like this. This is our standard notation that positive ends T1, T3, and T5, whereas the negative voltages will be applied to T4, T6, and T2. Now you can observe that VAN is connected to T1 and T4. The T1 is going to be in forward bias when VAN is positive. T4 is going to be forward bias when VAN is negative. Now if you observe from here to here, you can turn on the thyristor T1 since it is in forward bias. From here to here that VAN is negative, you can turn on the thyristor T4. VBN is connected to T3 and T6. When VBN is positive, T3 can be turned on since it will be in forward bias and T6 will be forward bias when VBN is negative. From here to here, T3 can be turned on and here to here, T6 can be turned on. VCN is connected to T5 and T2. Then when VCN is positive, T5 can turn on since it is in forward bias and T2 can be turned on when VCN is negative. That time, T2 will be in forward bias. From here to here, T5 can be turned on, T2 can be turned on. Now, for the firing angle alpha equals to 5 by 3, 60 degrees. Third, a highly inductive load, this is T1 is triggered at 5 by 6 plus alpha. So from here, this is alpha. Even the voltage is negative, the thyristor is going to conduct up to the next thyristor, T3 is turned on at 5 pi by 6 plus alpha. So T3 is turned on, again alpha, here T3 is turned on. Similarly, T5 is also turned on, 3 pi by 2 plus alpha. And again, T1 is turned on, this is regarding positive half cycle. In negative half cycle, T2 is turned on at 5 by 2 plus alpha. And D4 at here. And T5 at, T6 at here. And here. Output P0. We will pre draw this. Now, this is T5, T6. And this is so T1, T6, T1, T2. T3 and T2, T3, T4, T5, T4, T5, T6, T1, T6, T1, T2. Before this, T5, T4. T5 due to T4 is R. This is our average output voltage. And you can see that this is at starting at 5 by 6 plus alpha, 5 by 2 plus alpha. Here, if you observe, T1 is R from here to here, T1 is R. T3 is on, T5 is on, T1 is on, T5 is on, T4 is on, T2 is on, T6 is on, T5 is on, T6 is on. Now, if you take this average value, then the current I0 will be a continuous current. Now, this is VCB, this is VAB, VAC, VBC, V, VA, this is VCA, this is VCB. Now, the line to line voltages that is VAN is equals to VM sine omega t, VBN equals to VM sine omega t minus 2 pi by 3 and vcn equals to vm sine omega t plus 2 pi by 3. Now vab is given by van minus vbn that equals to root 3 vm sine omega t plus 5 by 6 e vc equals to vbn minus vcn that equals to root 3 Vm sine omega t minus 5 by 2 and Vca equals to Vcn minus Van that equals to root 3 Vm sine omega t plus 5 by 2. Calculate this value by using the formula sine A minus sine, sine B 
plus 2 to cos a plus b by 2 sin a minus b by 2. Now, average output voltage that VDC equals to 3 by pi integral pi by 6 plus alpha and pi by 2 plus alpha VAB d omega t that is equals to 3 by pi pi by 6 plus alpha pi by 2 plus alpha root 3 Vm sine omega t plus pi by 6 d omega t. Now if you calculate this you are going to get which is equals to 3 root 3 Vm by pi cos alpha. Vdc max is in cos alpha equals to 1 3 root 3 Vm by pi. Then V normal value is Vdc divided by Vdc max that equals to this divided by this you are going to get cos alpha. V RMS equals to V by pi integral pi by 6 plus alpha pi by 2 plus alpha PAP square d omega t all thing under the square root. Now 3 by pi integral pi by 6 plus alpha pi by 2 plus alpha 3 vm square sin square omega t plus pi by 6 d omega t under the square root equals to to calculate this, you are going to get root 3 Vm 1 by 2 plus 3 root 3 divided by 4 pi cos 2 alpha under the square root. This is the V RMS. Now we can turn on the T2 from here to here, but we have turned on the T2 here, and this will continue until the T4 is turned on here. This is the period where T2 can turn on and this is the period where T4 can turn on. Here T6 can turn on but it will continue until the next thyristor turns on for inductive load or the thyristor becomes reverse biased. We have considered firing angle alpha equals to pi by 3 in our case or 60 degrees. For alpha greater than pi by 3, the instantaneous output voltage V0 will have the negative part. Since the current through the thyristor cannot be negative, the load current will always be positive. Thus, a resistive load, the instantaneous load voltage cannot be negative. And the full converter will behave as a semi-converter for this case. Now you can observe 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 pulse. Three-phase bridge converter gives a 6 pulse output voltage. 